when we open jobs based on business need, the job requirements and individual uh, qualifications, they go through a competitive fair assessment, a free and fair assessment. So business need, job requirements. For the ongoing Obstex recruitment, uh, when the next set of candidates will be starting their onboarding and training process. You will hear from NLNG very soon. Authentic um, affidavits can, can work for certificates that you can't find. So we're going to talk about the next steps uh, shortly, and we're going to hear that from Florence. Uh, so just give us a moment while I look at the Q&A to see what we have in there. Thank you. I believe you're muted. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I said timelines will be addressed shortly. Um, those, somebody asked the question about whether you'd be deterred by not being resident in Nigeria. No, you won't. So long Hello. As you're... Hello, IJ, can you hear me? Yes, please give me a moment. Let me learn this. Okay. I can, yes. So you won't be deterred by your location so long as you are available for our own assessment as we have it. Uh, thank you. And I'll immediately hand over to Florence to take us through the next steps. IJ, please, can you give me, give me a, a few minutes, please? Okay. How many minutes would you like so I can take a few more questions? Okay, two minutes, please. Okay what the recruitment process would be like for candidates currently outside Nigeria. Florence will talk about that in next steps. So let me wait for that. Hey, Joma, just... can, you, can you take the question someone asked um, on, on if they don't have a first school living certificate exactly. and, and primary okay, so school maybe, certificate? Maybe I was muted when I answered that. I did actually. So I said, that when for certificates that you don't have uh, and they're required, an affidavit, a valid affidavit can suffice for that, yeah? So yeah, just get the relevant affidavit for that. Uh, primary school, did you get a testimonial when you graduated from your primary school or something? But get an affidavit for that. Time frame for recruitment, exercise. Um, Florence will answer that in next steps, as well as the processes. Training period, focus on going through the steps and being successful. That's my advice, to be honest. Why are you thinking about what would happen afterwards? Just focus on getting through to offer, and then you can take it from there. Concentrate, it's, focus is key in this. Uh, as well as ensuring that you're getting your information from the single source of truth, which is NLNG. Follow NLNG social media handles, 
Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Whenever you're, there's a lot of noise going on on social media from people who present themselves as knowledgeable, as whatever. Please follow the single source of truth. Whatever you hear, has NLNG said it. And then just focus on getting your eligibility confirmed via the shortlist, going through the steps, preparing and performing. Let this opportunity meet you prepared and performing at your competition is actually a lot. You can see the number of people on this call, even from earlier. So just focus. Yes. Florence, signify to me when you're ready. I'm ready, IJ. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I can. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for filling that gap. And um, let me just welcome everyone back from the boots. And I hope that you found the engagement very useful and that some of your questions were answered. So I joined some of the booths as well, and I heard the questions, you know, around the recruitment process, the stages, the duration, the training, and I think IJ had started responding to some of them. So I will take the stages now, and by taking that, you'll also see the next steps as well. So for this graduate training recruitment, uh, it starts at the application stage, which is the stage where we are at currently. So uh, interested applicants are submitting their applications. So by the time we are done with receiving application, when it closes by 22nd of November, then it will go to the next stage, which is shortlisting of eligible candidates. So, and this involves comparing the uh, candidate's credentials to the advertised requirements. After this stage, it moves to the psychometric test. From the psychometric test, it moves to the assessment center. After the assessment center, it gets to the stage of credentials and reference verification. After ver reference verification, credentials verification, we move to pre-employment medical examination and finally offer of employment. So let me just take it again. Candidates first submit accurate and complete applications in the NLNG job portal. Please note that only applications in the NLNG job application portal are valid. So after the application window closes, valid applications will be reviewed and shortlisted candidates will be invited to take an online proctored psychometric test. So those who are successful at the online assessment stage will progress to an in-person physical assessment center. At the assessment center, Candidates will participate in a series of exercises designed to assess the full range of skills and personal attributes required. Successful candidates at the assessment center will now have their credentials verified and then go through a pre-employment medical. And this is the last stage in the process before offer of employment. And there were questions around timelines in the boat. And I think uh, uh, maybe in this session too, it had been asked. We are looking to conclude this recruitment and have successful candidates join us within one year at one of our office locations, which are in Port Harcourt. That's where we have our corporate head office or Bonnie, where we have our plant complex or Abuja, where we have our head office annex based on the function of that uh, successful candidate. And please note that this recruitment is for recruitment into full-time employment of Nigeria LNG Limited. It's not in any of our subsidiaries. It is employment into NLNG. Successful candidates will be offered full-time employment to commence with and on the job training. They will be performing duties for specific assigned positions. There were also questions around, oh, how will I be placed? Will I place myself? Will the organization place me? Placement into positions will, to a large extent, match or be relevant to your course of study, but there could be exceptions. So like IJ was saying, I think what we would advise all interested applicants to do at this point is to focus, focus on getting to through these various stages and to be successful. 
at every point or at every stage, you will be getting guidelines, instructions from the recruitment team in terms of what you need to do. So long as you have passed that stage and you are shortlisted into the next stage, you will get guidelines, instructions. Please read them thoroughly, read them thoroughly. Most of the time, some persons might make a mistake because they haven't read the instructions well. And focus, focus. I just talked about noise on the social media. Please don't listen to noise. Even if you listen to them, try to be able to filter substance from noise so that you will not be distracted. So at this point, all I can do is to wish every one of you all the best. And we hope that in no distance time, those of you who are successful will be able to meet you face to face and have a handshake with you. Thank you. Back to you, IG. Thank you so, so much, Florence. Uh, much appreciated. Again, focus, focus, listen, single source of truth. Now we're going to round off shortly. Apologies, we said two hours. We're going to take you a little longer than the four o'clock of our two hours. But stay with us. We have a few uh, more to get from your feedback now. So we'll run a quick poll just to hear from you. We One of our uh, 10 behaviors, when Anne flashed and spoke, was continuous improvement. So please help us. How likely are you to recommend NLNG as an employer of choice to your friends and your family on a scale of zero to five? That's the first question. How would you rate this career fair event on a scale of zero to five? Are you likely to attend a future NLNG career fair or event? And then what would you like to see in future NLNG career fairs or events, especially as we relate to careers? So please give us your feedback. And we'll round off with a message from a light one, but I'm holding on for a few minutes so that you can take the four questions. We really would like to hear from you. And, you know, if you are not recommending, so if your score for us or rating for recommending NLNG as an employer of choice or any of the skills is low, please ensure that you fill in the number four what you're talking about. Guide us as to what is informing your scoring and what would you like to see in future NLNG career fair, fairs or events? I'll hold on for say two more minutes. And while I'm holding on, I will look at the Q&A and see if there's any question that stands out to me but we've mentioned focus, focus. Those who said that they were experiencing application issues, we have advised on all our handles, social media handles for you to please um, clear your cache or your browser history. If you don't know how to do that, just Google clear my cache slash browser history, clear it, restart your computer. Of course, you're not applying on a mobile device. Restart your computer and start the application afresh, that should work. It's worked for most people who have followed. And then follow the application instructions on how to apply as we provided them. We've gone ahead to provide a job application demo on how to apply. We posted it in the lobby. The video is in the lobby of this event. It's on our LinkedIn page, should be on our internet page as well. So please follow instructions as provided by NLNG. That should help. Um, we answered lots of questions. Affidavits for cert certificates that you don't, you don't have available, like the primary school one people are talking about. I believe Florence also mentioned that those who are in the process of doing their NYSC about to complete, provide your call-up letter. But just know that legally, Employers in Nigeria can only take people who have an NYSE completion certificate or an NYSE exemption certificate. So bear that in mind. The job requirements are specific on the advert. 
please act accordingly. If you have things like a master's or a PhD, congratulations to you, but we have advertised the job requirements. Anything that isn't on there, not your concern. We specify the five documents you should attach. Uh, please do those ones as well. Still keen to get your feedback, especially in what you would like to see uh, in future events. Um, one minute, I'm just scrolling through the questions. Someone, I see specifically, I graduated in 2012 and served in 2019. So your NYT certificate is not before 2017. It's straightforward to me. So long as you meet the other eligibility uh, requirements. You were not asked to choose location for your test. No, just we'll communicate if you're eligible. All our communications will be complete. I'm also going to say when you're completing your applications, please ensure that you provide accurate and complete information. We're very clear on that. So our polls are showing us that over 80% of people uh, are likely to re recommend skills on a score of five would recommend NLNG as an employer of choice to family and friends. 15% uh, gave a score of four rather, 4% 4 a score of three. There's a 1% with a score of one. Please make sure you drop your comments in that number four question. We'd really like to hear why you wouldn't recommend or what you'd like to see. How would you rate this career fair event? About 70%, uh, five. So really about 90% have rated four and five. Quite good. For those who rated lower, what would you like to see? What would have made you give NLNG a higher score for this event? Are you likely to attend the future event? And 94% have said yes. The maybe is, how can we convince you in the chat or in the number four question? So I'll end this poll now. Thank you, thank you so much for interacting with us. Again, focus, single source of truth, it's been an honor and a pleasure hosting you here uh, at NLNG's first virtual career fair. And I'll hand over to Olaito Hamza again to give final remarks. Did you call my name? Because you were breaking up a bit, Aji. Confirm you. Oh, my apologies. I did. I OK. Did. I said closing remarks from All right. Okay, thank you everyone. But quick one before I give my remarks. Um, Florence, I, one question keeps coming up um, that um, what if I've submitted and I didn't put my primary school certificate? I believe it won't affect them at this stage, correct? If you no. already submitted, don't please don't panic because I see some people yeah. saying, oh, I'm, I'm so yeah. worried about it. Don't panic, don't be worried. Mm -hmm. At this stage, is fine. We'll, we'll find a way through it if you submit yes. it. Your promise, we I actually think. have the option to withdraw the application and apply again. But if not, but so if not, I think, the, yeah, yeah, so long as the information on the form that you completed was was accurate, accurate, and accurate yeah. So yeah. that's fine. Okay, thanks for that. So thank you very much. I, I can only say thank you. Um, we've gone about six minutes over time, so I won't uh, bore you with any long speech anymore. I hope you had an exciting time. It was really lovely for me. Really nice to interact with you guys and meet you and talk to you, uh, take your questions, um, comments. I hope that you've gained, and I saw some chats, uh, some, some comments in the chat saying, I have gained some clarity. That's really what this session was about. Uh, so I'm really happy that a lot of you have gained clarity. Um, for those of you who have not um, applied yet, still open till the 22nd of November. If you've already applied, Florence has told you what the next steps are. So focus, start looking up, what do I read? What do I do? We've already given you hints on that. So please focus and because we really want, to, we want you to join us. Um, uh, so please focus on that. I think we've used the word focus like a million times today and it's really important because we keep seeing that people are, you know, someone's asking about what will happen during training. I think take it like, like footballers say, we'll take it each game. 
each game at a time. You can't be at the um, preliminaries of Champions League and you're asking who you meet in final. You've not even gotten to quarter final. So try to focus each game in front of you, each step in front of you. Take it one at a time and you will get there. And we will be ready, waiting with open arms to receive you into Nigeria LNG, um, a globally competitive company helping to build a better Nigeria. So thank you very much, guys, for joining us. Um, hope to see you at some point as with your ID card as Nigeria LNG staff. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye to you guys. Yes, I do love football. Somebody was asking. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Eliza. We could replay that NLNG video for those who aren't dropping off early. Our story begins 60 years ago, at the infancy of Nigerian oil production. We were inspired by the idea of capturing and preventing the hazards of its byproduct, flared gas, triggering a time for change. So began our quest towards processing LNG for the world's cleaner energy future need and the transformation of Nigeria's economic base. In 1989, Nigeria LNG was born and the beginning of the fulfillment of our long-held ambition, a time for action. The ensuing years saw rapid progress, kick-starting a time for accomplishments. Final investment decision was made in 1995 to build train one and two, creating a 5.9 million tons per annum capacity plant and commercial production of LNG began. October 1999 marked a time for breakthrough. History was made when Nigeria LNG exported her first ever cargo on LNG Lagos to the Montoire de Breton terminal in France. The dream was finally real. Nigeria LNG successfully enlisted the nation among the suppliers of global LNG, 10 years after it was incorporated. This heralded a time for growth Growth followed growth, success followed success, and within its first decade of operations, Nigeria LNG would become the fastest growing LNG company in the world. A time for expansion ensued. Nigeria LNG added four more trains to become the biggest industrial complex in sub-Saharan Africa. A major supplier of global LNG with a production of 22 million tonnes of LNG and natural gas liquids from our six train plant complex on Bonny Island in River State, Nigeria. We achieved global reach, establishing two subsidiaries, Bonny Gas Transport, BGT Limited, which owns and charters 13 of the 23 ships that transverse the globe to deliver LNG cargoes and the NLNG Ship Management Limited, NSML, to manage the crews on board the LNG vessels. The result? A dramatic reduction of Nigeria's gas flare status from 65% when the company started operations to less than 20% today. With this growth came Nigerianization. A rapid boost to Nigerian skills and world-class engineering training capacity. Today, the company has 100% Nigerian management team and 95% Nigerian employees who operate the plant with the highest value for safety. With 22 million tons of production, Nigeria LNG has generated revenues of over 100 billion US dollars to date, returning more than 15 billion US dollars to stakeholders in dividends and contributing an excess of 6.5 billion US dollars in taxes to the nation since we started operations, allowing us to participate actively in national investment. We are and will continue to be part of Nigeria's future. We continue to pursue our passion for community development, investing significantly in infrastructure development with plans to co-finance a 120 billion Naira Bonibodo Road project 
to connect Bonnie Island to the mainland, representing the highest single investment ever on a CSR project in the country. This project will offer great relief to River Rhine dwellers in that area of the Niger Delta, turning the island into an investor and tourist haven. We established the Bonnie Utilities Company, BUC, to ensure uninterrupted electric power supply, as well as potable water to the community, and the Bonnie Community Health Insurance Scheme to guarantee access to healthcare for the people. We will sustain skills development through our three-tier scholarship scheme as well as the London City and Guild Certified Bonnie Vocational Centre to train technicians and meet the manpower needs of the industry. We are committed to achieving goal zero, not just in our carbon emission through our operations, but also our safety records, remaining a force for good as we look to ramp up LPG supply to the domestic market, further reducing the adverse impact of other hazardous fuels on humans and the environment. Today, with Train 7, we are excited about the opportunity to increase production capacity by 35% and with this create brighter futures for the growing population contributing to education research infrastructural development transformation of the communities in which we operate and delivering cleaner sustainable energy to the country better and faster than before as the world demands more energy but with less carbon emissions natural gas has a major part to play it is the smart partner to renewables the future is exciting. The future is gas. It's time for gas, and it's our time to shine. Thank you all very, very much, and have a great evening. Good luck.